Self-identification is important to our school system and our students. It's essential that we know who our students are and the communities we serve. Self-identification helps us understand how our demographics are changing and how to best support students and schools. It also assists us in determining the allocation of resources and personnel to support the achievement of every student in the HRSB. In schools where support workers are allocated, students who self-identify as African descent or as Mi'kmaq Aboriginal get insight into post-secondary opportunities specific to them. That includes post-secondary orientations, scholarships and bursary information, as well as designated seats in specific programs such as NSCC. And anywhere from me just having a, a conversation with them in the day and just saying hello to helping them transition out of high school to directing them to resources in the community for supports, uh, setting, up, setting up tutoring for them in the school or additional supports for them in the school. Everything from coaching, cultural youth groups, uh, taking them to universities, setting up university tours. The other side of this, which I feel is really, really important, is the relationship that I'm able to build with families um, and the peace of mind that I'm able to uh, extend to them. Just as much as I'm here for the kid, I'm here for their family, and I'm here for our whole community, right? Our whole future. I find the effect is that when Aboriginal students take part in, in their culture, it's kind of, it's having a positive effect in other, other areas of their, of their school life, you know, with uh, extracurricular activities and remarks, and just their relationship with the school and with their, with their peers and stuff, so. So in our role in program and assessment, there are times where we stop uh, and take a, a look at our self-identification data, at how we can target professional development for teachers that are very much aligned with what our assessment results are showing us. We take time to work with schools from a large-scale professional development in terms of determining what some of that professional development should look like in literacy and math for teachers to help guide what they're going to be doing in terms of looking at the strengths of the students in terms of their literacy and math, but then look at also those areas that they have to dig deeper. We encourage all students to identify their ancestry and their Aboriginal identity.